Hello everyone, welcome back to this very ominous scene. Last time we left off, we were going to explore Terror Island. We kind of got to start on the beach, but uh, we got a lot of other places we can go to, like the unlucky place. Oh, a key. Old stone and brambles. Yeah, this place gives me that lonely feeling. I'd rather keep moving along. Oh. It was a heart, and then the part fell off like a broken yeah, heart? This place gives me that lonely feeling. I'd huh. rather keep moving along. I'm sure I'm a more skilled survivalist and have nothing to worry about. I'll just keep telling myself that. It's not one of the golden keys, but any key is a good key in my book. Yeah, I mean, it's an item. Another item to add to my frankly absurd inventory. It's not a skeleton key, but I did find it stuck in a skeleton's chest. Okay. Well, need a skeleton key. We have one. For a dead tree, it's a little too lively. Just a dead end. It sounds a little creepy if you think about it too much. Well, we've gotten one item from here. Hopefully we can find something else useful. Slimy Grotto. Uh, moist patch of mushrooms? In all the worst places, there are mushrooms. Oh yeah, Guybrush hates mushrooms. It's like a slow crashing wave of spores. I remember that now, in the from the uh, first game. Bizarre Grove, Twisting Paths, Mysterious Clearing. Oh god. Why is it Ugh, so awful? Looks like he had the wrong person watching his back. What really bothers me is, why do these pirates look familiar? Why do these pirates look familiar? What hat is that? And you. Uh, are these members of, like, LeChuck's crew or something? Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, it's an old oil lamp with a little lamp fuel inside. Whoops. Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps. It's an old oil lamp with a little lamp fuel inside. Old oil lamp? Okay, I got an oil it's lamp. Lit, but it does have some lamp oil in it. Interesting. Well, I do have matches, right? So I could light the lamp. Okay, it's lit. Well, now I have a lit lantern in my inventory. I'm, I'm hoping that's just going to burn good. forever because I lit it now because I would have forgotten <laughs> about the matches, I thought. So I lit it now, so it's burning. So now if we need a lamp for some reason, it's it's good. We got it. Wait, what happened to the ant? There was an ant right here, and then I pulled up my inventory and it was gone. I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits and keep my head. Ugh, a creepy bug. St Ugh. Looks like he had the wrong person watching his back. Oops. Really Sorry, I wanted to finish off the thing with the bug. I always I always think, oh, okay, Guybrush is done, so I click on something else, and then bam, no. It's looking at me funny, and I don't trust it. Yeah, see? Now you're done. Alrighty, so... Twisting path? Oh, God. Arachnophobia warning for, for people here. Oh, is this what the lantern's for? It lit up that path when I was walking. Whereas before it was dark, yeah? Yeah, this might be what the lantern's for. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants me around. Uh, there's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom, right? Interesting. Yeah, this must be what the lantern's for, yeah? Has to be. Well, I'm glad I lit it now. It's getting hard to tell the flora from the fauna. Yeah, mushrooms are getting very large. It says X, Y, Z, Z, Y. I can't quite get it off of there. Take the sign. Why would I want the sign anyway? Do I have anything that would help get it off? There we go. Beautiful. Okay. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Okay, so I'm glad I had the idea for the knife. So is this key? Beautiful. Alright, cool. Things don't sound good in this cave. This is what the lantern's for. Okay. Okay, well, we're, we're making some progress on Terror Island, at least. It says, warning, you are about to enter a maze of twisty passages mostly very similar. It says, hmm. warning, you are... Do I need the head of the navigator again? Mostly very similar. It says, yeah. 
I probably need a map or something. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, we, we should probably just get out of here. Huh? Looks like someone forgot to pick up their trash. Wait, what was this? Those crisp fall... symbol... It's like two triangles stacked on top of each other. Knights at sea. Or not stacked, but on opposite ends. As you see, the ship's undulated, wet, and rocking, and yet in the bunks below decks, no one was knocking. So I gotta follow that symbol. So this way. And then, is there another one of those symbols? Doesn't seem like it. Does... I mean, this, this sounds crazy, but would the note change at all? Those crisp fall... yeah, I followed that. Wait, why is the sign glowing? X, Y, Z, Z, Y. What? Wow, neat! It's magic! Oh, it teleports me out. Weird? Sorry, the sign was glowing, so I wanted to use it. Weird. Um... It's getting hard I, to tell I the floor from the I feel like I probably can't do this yet? Because it feels like I need something to help me navigate it, and there was this little symbol thing. I mean, I can try... one more time, I suppose. I don't know. Yeah, see, there's not, that, that symbol isn't listed on any of these at the start, though. I must need, like, a series of symbols... that I follow through that cave, right? Okay, let, let's just get out of here. I just to wanted to try it... From the fauna. I just wanted to look one more time because, you know, it's a long walk out of here, so... Whatever it is, I don't think it wants me around. Yeah, Guybrush, this is a very spooky place. We understand, believe me. Okay. Well, this is definitely the biggest part of the game, I would say. Alright, sail away from this creepy place. Okay, so... What now? Let's kind of, uh, take inventory here, so... I know for one oh, of the things... Oh, of ocean this is. So full of nothing. Murray, please shut the fuck up. Um, so... I've got a lot of things in progress. Acquire Whitey's golden key, which we need all the other ones to do that. Yeah. So I need to win the contest of hardiness, intelligence, and seriousness, and to win the seriousness one, I need... yeah... Intelligence may help me... the... the... the accountants may help with me... help me with that? Acquire the Terror Island Golden Key. Don't know how to do that yet. Get Elaine a better scurvy flyer and find the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. Okay. Um. Are we having fun yet? Let's philosophize. In any group of things, you'll always have a least favorite. This is a great skull. Alrighty. Let's get out of here. So, what do I need to do? We need to free stand with the free stand. I need to get the picture of me. So. Everything's coming back to getting my stupid picture from that seagull. But I have absolutely zero idea how to do that yet. I never did try to take the limes over here, but you're totally not going to listen to me. Yeah. You should try limes. They help prevent scurvy. Where did you hear that? Is that more of your science mumbo jumbo? You need to leave before you catch scurvy. God. God. Yeah, they're not going to fall for the flyer, Fine. so... Don't let the scurvy bite you. Alrighty, yeah, I mean, I just thought I would come see what they had to say. Huh, so... I'm just going to have to kind of look around. There's... Something I'm missing with that stupid bird, but the bird seems to be something I need to kind of set everything into action here, so... I guess now's the point where I just kind of sail around and see if I can find something. This key doesn't fit. Damn. It, it mentioned skeleton key, so I was like, wait, why don't I try this on the storeroom? Yeah, I mean, you said it's not a skeleton key, but come on. I, I, I thought I would try it. So, nope, nothing there. No, oh, hey, I'm over here because I was looking at books and it says compare new memories with old ones because I've got the sea monkey back now. The sea monkey, too, is almost as nice. And it's a lot bigger. Huh. Neat. So that actually changes. That's one with a key like this once. You said it was bad luck. There's the shackle key. Yeah, I don't have any other keys. I just thought to show this one to you. Maybe tell me something about it. Yeah. Okay, nothing super interesting. All oh, the fishing lure. 
Yeah, everybody keeps talking about- I see a lot of people with this stupid fishing lure. How much for the fishing lure? It's not for sale. This is a locksmith's shop. Perhaps you saw the sign outside? Damn, so I can't actually buy it. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's what we need the flags for. Bella Fisher's special fishing spot. We need to get there, and I'm- it said three clues Bella left. It's probably Bella's three flags, we overlap them all, and then there will be, like, one spot that's still open. Because all of them have holes in them, right? So we overlap them all over each other, and then wherever this- like, it's probably gonna lead us to a spot, that's kind of my logic? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But, uh, I'm here because didn't we need to buy bloater? I'd like to buy some fish. That's an excellent life, just today we've got heck. Bloater is what I need. Oh, here's a. You want me to run a tab for you? Sure. Thanks. Cool. All right, we got we got bloater, because that's what they said we needed for one of the or what we needed for one of the things. Oh yeah. Oh my God, you've been kidnapped now. Of course. Somehow I don't think he's doing fine. That was such a nice sign. Wally? What happened here? Wally's shop has been ransacked. Uh-huh. Is there anything cool I can steal from here? Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? I guess he's not here. And he's probably not okay. There's a trivia card. Can I potentially steal a map for that place that I'm trying to get through? Oh, we got another trivia card. Hello. Uh, what is next to a dead end on Terror Island? That would be the Leaning Tree. Yeah. Where is Cog Island located? Don't know. How many parrots are, parrots are next to the- I said parents. The scurvy Dog Shack? One? I- that, that was a while ago. I didn't really remember that one. Okay. It's the first roll of the melee jail. Oh yeah, I can get that now. Huh. Wait, Odina is the... It's the ninth, right? Yeah. Oh, look at me answering these things now. And then I can go get the first roll of the jail as well. But is there anything important to get here? This is all that's left of Wally's standard-sized maps, globe, odd-sized maps, and boxes of other maps. Who could have done this? I guess LeChuck. Obviously. Yeah, LeChuck's pissed. These maps were Wally's life's work. At least I assume so. Well, they left behind the solid gold compass rose. This was no standard plundering. Okay, so there's nothing to actually get from here. Um, hmm. Yeah, we keep seeing this stupid graffiti everywhere. Has anything changed in the International House of Mojo? Uh, hmm. Oh. It's not like her to leave the place unlocked. Also, I smell brimstone and beard oil. LeChuck's been here. And that magical glow on the safe is new. I bet that's his work. Unless it's Captain Lila. Uh-huh. I don't know what this glow means, but I bet it means LeChuck. Or Madison. Either way, I'd better find the keys soon. Yeah, things have not are not good looking good here. Trivia card. Another one. <clears throat> Whose wedding veil can be found in LeChuck's cabin? Elaine's. Alright, that was easy. And I can go get the first rule from the jail and answer that too. Because why not? He said, I don't think I'll do them all, but I'll do them as best I can. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. No escaping. Two, no earthquakes. There's another trivia card. All right, so give. The Melee Island Circus was run by the Fettuccini Brothers. Okay, and let's see, where was the other one I needed? The one about what's the first rule of the Melee Jail? No escaping. Cool, look at me getting through these. Alright, cool. God, there's so many, though. Oh, I'm over here with the crying cook. I can show you the IOU. What would you say if I told you the governor authorized funds to build an amusement park on Melee? An amusement park? I thought... Never mind. Oh, that did, that did nothing. I was, like, thinking maybe I could give you the IOU for some reason. Like, I owe you a book. I have a picture of your family. I saved that from your place, but you don't seem care. You don't seem to care about that. You're not a marketing expert. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I can do anything here, really. 
Another trivia card, though. Original Monkey Island was first released on... Who? I... Do not know. There we go. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know, okay? I was not- I was not playing Monkey Island back in the day. And, uh, Amigos and Commodores were a little bit before my time. Okay, I'm back over here, got another card. How many skeletons are in the water on the Terror Island beach? Uh, we can check that later. I want to see the coat of arms here. That's it, right? It has a sword. So, the Bermuda features uh, a fish and two swords. Wait, wait, was that? What? I got it wrong, apparently. Huh. Well, it's gone now. I thought it was a fish and two swords. I, It, it seemed like it was intentionally... There, there were a bunch of fish and swords things, so maybe I just counted wrong. Maybe it was a sword and two fish. Oopsie. Everyone saw my, my, my fucky-wucky. Well, it's fine. There's another trivia card. Just, get, just, just give me a repl here, here. I'll, I'll do better this time. In the park, there is a. I said well last time. All of these? Okay, there's all of these. I mean, usually when that's an option, that's usually the answer. So I'll take it. So back here was where we got to do this challenge, yeah. Fish of the day. Today's contest of hardiness yes. will feature bloater. Yes. Put some fish in the bucket. There we go. We got bloater. It's filled with bloaters. Uh -huh. Today's contest of hardiness will feature bloater. So, can I win the contest of hardiness? Don't know. Let's find out. We can try it. Oh, a challenge! It's a sword and two fish. Yes, I got it opposite. Ladies and gentlemen, although your appetite for this nauseating affair never ceases to amaze me, it is my solemn duty to adjudicate this, the Contest of Heartiness. Can I pepper yours? Ooh. As you are all thoroughly aware, the objective is to successfully and permanently consume more raw fish than your opponent. Today's challenge fish is Bloater. <laughs> In the defender's chair, the cast iron stomach of Othina the Ninth, reigning Queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion! Yay! And in the challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still in possession of nearly all of his original teeth, the newcomer, Guybrush Threepwood! A.K.A. Mr. Elaine Marley. If you Can't believe it's now, remembering that. Your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Uh huh. Uh, pepper. You will um. also need a fish. Ah. And now, let. This looks like a good one, relatively speaking. Damn it. I. So when should I pepper it? My God. Ugh, the scales are like fingernails. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. the Damn winner it. and still champion, Queen Odina. So I could season the fish with the pepper, but I didn't get a good opportunity to do it before you grabbed yours, right? And now I need more bloater. Oh, wait, no, I have the bloater still. They just gave him back to me. Okay. So can I just preemptively pepper it? Why can Guybrush hand? So, so the reason I, I didn't some zip. The, the reason I didn't do this before is because the, well now Guybrush is gonna die too, right? I was like I need to find an opportunity to season hers before if you mine. Reach now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Unless Guybrush just seasons. It's filled with bloaters and demon pepper. Uh huh. It's filled with bloaters and demon pepper. Do I have, like, them in my inventory? Yes! Sneak one of these onto my plate. There we go. Now, Beautiful. Let the eating commence! I win. Eat shit, Odina. <coughs> uh, 
Good job, Guybrush. Proud of you. Two bites? That's more than she ate, right? I can stop now? Uh, yes, you can stop if you like. Ladies and gentlemen, yes. your new champion of hardiness with two bites to the Queen Squad is Mr. Threefwood. Damn, have we ever won a contest legitimately? One contest down, two to go. Okay, so there we go. That one's done. I actually managed to accomplish something. Yay! There's a there's a card. Give me the card. Okay, we've got we've got something. We've got one W under our belt. Due to an outbreak of scurvy, all ships heading north of Scurvy Island are required to carry limes. Bye bye. Uh, so we got the mezzanine. That's the seriousness room. I need the joke book before I can do that. And this one was uh, intelligence, which I don't think I'm going to be doing. Huh. What is- what, what would I put in this bucket? What? Bucket. I don't- I don't know what I would do with this bucket. It feels important for some reason, but uh... Yeah, I have no idea. I can feel all the warmth escaping up the chimney. Yeah, then I don't know what to do with that. Okay, okay. Hmm. This is definitely gonna be a very confusing part of the game. Like I said, I feel like... I probably need to, uh, get the- the accountant to teach me algebra or some shit from Bare Bones, but to do that I gotta free stand, and to free stand I need my picture, and da 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 Uh... Yeah, and this- maybe I try to- so, yeah, I did mention what about feeding the bird fish, right? What if I try to do that, like, right now? Hey, birdie! You want some fish? I got a nice juicy bloater for you. Here you go. Aha. Pepper? No, yes, you little it. shit. Alright, here you go. Eat that, why don't you? Give me my damn picture. Uh-huh. Get on out of here. Go on, get. Yes! This is torn, this is torn from a portrait of Elaine. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful guy brush. Monkey Island 2, who has a glass bottom ship? That would be Kate Capsize. Alright, so good, good, good. I've got what I needed from here. Yeah, seasoning, doing the fish thing made me realize, okay, that's probably how we do this as well. Because that's why we kept the bloaters. I was wondering why they were still in my inventory. Be mortified. Oh, God. Ew. Okay, well, sorry, Elaine. Oh, I'm gonna be kissing Stan. Oh. How sweet. Guybrush, I knew you always had feelings for Stan. Alright, let's go show this. Let's go show them at Bermuda that Stan and I are lovers. And I'm coming to visit. Alright, let's go. Look, see? I'm just going in there to see my boo. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend Stan together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All mm -hmm. right, you can go in and see him, but no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't How want to be, be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. Oh, don't worry. We're going to be too busy trying to escape. Uh, uh, to, to escape. We're going to be too busy up to other stuff, you know? All clear. Me and Stan. All right, enter the ice quarry. Stan has to be around here. You know, Stan... Way in the back. Way in the back. Seen Stan? He's in the back corner. Uh-huh. You know Stan? Way in the back. Okay, they're all just gonna mostly say the same thing, so... We just gotta go all the way around here. Well, there certainly are getting a lot of ice. What are you doing? You're throwing ice logs into the ice fire, but they're bouncing off because it's ice. Wow. Amazing. Prison shackles. Jeez. Okay. Have fun, all of you. Prison shackles. Looks like they have room for one more prisoner. Hmm? No need. They're already unlocked. No, I just thought I would try, just in case. It looks like a secret escape tunnel. 
Like maybe Stan would be put in those later, but I, and I already have the key. Escape? Oh. Oh, whoops. I didn't actually want to escape. Oh, damn it all. To hell and back. <laughs> That's what I get for just clicking randomly. Alrighty. Alright, Stan Boo, I'm back. Hey, Stan. Hi there, son. Nice to see you. What are you in for? Uh, you're missing your shirt. You're honestly weird without your shirt. Uh... Some sort of sales pitch. Some sort of a sales pitch, I expect. Pitches are for baseball, son. I make introductions. I'm like a matchmaker between you and your future. I want you to consider these two words. Ice. Sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength. Elegance. Transparency. Together, they could be life-changing. The chill of the Arctic combined with the blaze of the avant-garde. Nature, tamed by man, bent to his will with chisels and fire. These fine examples of neo-post-colonial abstract representationalism can turn a dining room into a banquet hall, a shack into a palace, a simple celebration into an earth-shattering once-in-a-lifetime event. They're limited edition masterpieces made with all natural ingredients and are 100% biodegradable. And they come with an expiration guarantee. They're engineered to transform continuously, taking on new shapes and offering new insights each day. Over time, they become more compact, eventually suitable for inclusion in the celebratory cocktail you use to toast your next purchase. Surefire, can't miss. What do you say? Beautiful, beautiful. Stan, I would like to break up with you. I remember why I hate you now, and I am actually getting used to the Stan voice. Uh, the, the new stand voice. It, it, it's, it's growing on me and it makes more sense now. When you were in jail, I wasn't as about it because the whiplash was just so weird. But now I see it and I hate you again. So I'm dumping you. Not today. Don't wait too long. They're selling like hotcakes. Uh, do you know there's an escape tunnel? Or this place. You know what? Let's, let's, let's wait. This place sure is quiet. That's what productivity <clears throat> sounds like. Ew. My hunt for the secret of Monkey Island is going great. Good for you, kid. Closing time comes too soon for us all. You gotta try all the snacks you can before it does. Did you know there's an escape tunnel over there? Oh no, son, I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy of the judge's order right here. Uh, Judicial Order, 673rd Circuit Court, Bermuda, Judge Plank reciting. It is hereby ordered that the defendant Smilin' Stan S. Stanman is to be remanded to Harblader at the Bermuda Ice Quarry for the unfortunately trivial term of one month. Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me they never caught on to my pyramid scheme or I'd probably be doing ten years. Oh god. Tell me more about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. Honestly, I don't know why the law makes such a big deal about it. It's just creative money management. Easy if you know what to do with the figures. Ugh. I've got this accountant, Ned Filigree. He's a genius with that stuff. If they ever saw his records... Well, let's just say the first thing I'm doing when I get out is go burn all that paperwork. What was the name of your accountant again? Ned Filigree. He's good, and he works cheap. Be careful, though. He's got a hang-up about meticulous record-keeping that can be problematic if anyone looks too close. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? Like I said, I'll be out in a month anyway. I can handle the shackles until then. Wow, you just never want to be broken out of jail. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. All right, so, um... It's the judicial order for Stan's imprisonment. It says he only has one month left. Maybe I can go get that changed at the office, right? But let's give you the scurvy flyer. Elaine and I could use some marketing advice. The Marley Foundation is trying to combat scurvy by distributing limes, but no one's willing to take them. I feel your pain, son. I had a similar problem selling life preservers in the farming community. Sometimes people don't know what they want even when they want it. You got any promotional materials? Elaine made this pamphlet. Limes and you. We read all of this. Hmm. Mm hmm. I see the problem. It's wrong from top to bottom. You couldn't sell water to fish with this blather. It's a little dry. Well, it's got facts in it. Worse than that, scientific facts. 
I'll need to meet with her to iron this out. Can't you just tell me what to do and I'll tell her? No, no, that won't do. Things get lost in translation. A whinny isn't a whinny if it doesn't come out of a horse's mouth. No shade on you, son, but you're not a pro. You wouldn't be able to convey the nuance that's needed here. She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. I'll let her know. Okay, sure don't want me to break you out. Remember what you said about... I think okay. I'll poke around a little. You it... Okay, so I gotta get you out now. And yeah, once I get you out, I can do something with your accountant that's horrified of you and... Okay, okay, there's a lot of... there's a lot of stuff to take care of. Wait, whoopsie, what? Sail away? What did I click on? Oh, oh, the sea monkey, yeah. Alrighty, well, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode of Return to Monkey Island off here. We made some pretty good amounts of progress, but now I gotta go to the judicial office and get Stan out and all of that jazz, so... Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Monkey Island, and I'll see you next time for some more.